Bucky Boys podcast. Once I turned a certain age, I was like, I don't really care anymore. I don't know if that's the fact that, you know, I was never big on birthdays mm-hmm. and I never, uh, you know, had people really like celebrate it. It was yeah. a big thing. I just had close family and that was fine. So it wasn't like, oh, I, I had a huge party and then I invited a bunch of people. So it just, it never seemed to me like a big thing. I mean, like, I know your birthday's coming up. Is that? Yeah. No, that's, that's so funny because it's, it's the opposite for me now. I think birthdays are a big deal now. Mm. Uh, I think growing up, like, I had, like, you know, as a kid, I had, like, little, like, birthday parties, whatever. But then, like, teenage years and whatnot, it was whatever. I, what was crazy is, like, the past few years, um, I've been doing, like, birthday trips. And I just think, like, part of that was really recognizing that, like, life is short and mm. that, like, creating these memories and taking that opportunity to do a trip, you know, really celebrate and be thankful for what you have. Um, but also, like, having those memories where it's, like, y- you can think back on. So, like, I mean, like, it's, it's just, it's, it's been crazy. Like, I've spent my birthday um, on, on the world cruise. I, was, I had my birthday in Morocco on a work trip. I was in Iceland last year on a work trip as well. Um, it just so happened it was like around my birthday, but then like this year we're gonna go to Barcelona and do a Mediterranean cruise. But it was like a it was a thing where I'm like, no, like I want to take this opportunity to um, to celebrate, to have these memories. And um, it's also it seems like it's also like a, a celebration of your achievements every year. Yeah, and I think it's also like work schedule can get so crazy that. Yeah. You know, work opportunities can literally come next week and I'm booked up or something. So it's a nice break where I'm like, that's my birthday. I'm just going to at least block off this week. And then the rest of the year, it's like I need to kind of come as it goes. Um, but yeah, I, I just realized like there's such a luxury for our generation to be like, hey, I'm, I want to celebrate my birthday and do something about it. Um, another big part about my birthdays now, um, when I turned 30th, a few years ago, uh, I got myself my first like luxury watch. And it was such a big milestone because I think about watches in the world of fashion, right? Like watches has always been like, my grandfather passed this down to me. My dad passed this down to me. I'm like, I don't have that. I don't have someone that passed me down a Rolex. And so like looking at that like 30 age mark, um, I wanted to do something bigger to kind of celebrate what I've done in my life, but also kind of like paving my legacy going forward. Mm. And so I think like watches of all things has that like value at that like that legacy. Longevity. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I got my first luxury watch. It was kind of like everything has to check off the box for me where it's like it, it celebrated where I've come, but also like elevate my personal brand because I was working with a luxury brand to get that watch. And then I can also work with other luxury Swiss may watch brands now. So that kind of also opened the door for me in terms of business wise. So that's how I can like, all right, mm-hmm. like it's also a good business expense for it. But like that really gave like a story to the watch, but also like it really had that milestone for my birthday. Um, yeah, so now I feel like I, I always want to celebrate because it's, it's that one you know, chance that I get to. Yeah, because it represents some sort of this joy in your life and then you want to share it with people. I mean, I think that's great, you know. Why is it that when we get older, I mean, for a lot of people, I mean, you're against the grain, right? For a lot of people, we celebrate the shit out of our birthdays when we're kids, (laughs) right? Whether it's a parent's throw for us or we do it with our friends, right? And it's like this big event and other people plan our birthday parties. And as we get older, that transitioning begins where number one, we don't have other people to plan our birthdays anymore. Mm-hmm. And if you're at a certain age and you still have, you're still fortunate enough to have friends or be in a relationship <laughs> yeah. with someone who will plan your birthday on your behalf, that's amazing. But most people don't have that. So they, for whatever reason, maybe begin to care less about their birthday, mm-hmm. begin to start making less of a fuss. And I believe I mean, that's that's cool and all, but it's also a little bit sad. The purpose of a birthday is to celebrate life. It's a lot of effort to get a group of people together. And I've done, like, once I've done a few of those group birthdays, I'm like, all right, it's kind of, it feels the same. You know, it's the same thing. 
Um, and again, it's again, it's just like, what do I want more out of life? Like, how do I properly? What do I really want? I really want to be traveling for my birthday. Like, what do I really want to do? Right? Like, so that's like that's like number one. And another way is like, what if you can also cross off a new country off your list? That's another way to kind of cross more milestones off. So I think like that it really boils down to what you want out of life, right? Like you want to, do you want to travel when you retire? Or you want to just, why don't you at least do one trip a year and why don't you just make it your birthday trip? That way you're celebrating yeah, a, your life. That's a healthy way to look crossing at it. one off. And you're not, we're not telling you to travel and spend all your money all year round, but we're like, what about the one birthday trip? I think that's a great way to do it. Um, even for my partner, Alicia, we started doing birthday trips just because it's a great way to celebrate. So like last year we went to Austria because she loves books and museums and uh, music. Rich culture. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, you. there's so much to see in the world. I think that's a good opportunity to do that. Lucky Boys Podcast.